Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my entire HMV Premium Collection collection. Um, I've got 15 titles here to show you. Uh, I've been collecting them pretty much since they came out, uh, which is a good number of years ago now. Um, I am not trying to collect every single edition um, from the collection. Uh, I'm solely buying the ones that um, I have an interest in and films that I actually enjoy watching. Um, you know, they are numbered, so I know some people out there do try and go for a full collection. Uh, but that's not me. I just like buying the ones that I'm interested in. So without further ado, let's get started with the video, guys. Real quick, before we jump into the video, I was looking at my analytics the other night there and I noticed that more than 50% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you are new around here, I would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. Uh, I make videos every Thursday and upload them uh, for you. Make sure to hit that like button as well if you do enjoy this video and want to see more content. Alright guys, so let's begin. So they're kind of in genre because um, I, I took them off the shelf and that's how I have them organised. So the first title we have here is Battle of the Bulge, um, an absolute brilliant war film uh, set in World War II, of course. Um, Henry Fonda, Robert Shaw, Robert Ryan, amazing cast. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. Um, the German commander. Uh, I can't remember. He was also in, is it Werner Peters? He was also in some of the Bond films, I believe, as well. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, great, great, great movie. Um, absolutely, you know, one of those epic films. You know, you've got like Ben-Hur and things like that. To me, this is right up there as like the grand epic World War II film. Um, so yeah, Battle of the Bulge, absolute classic. Gotta have that in your collection. Uh, next up, we've got Casualties of War uh, with Sean Penn and um, yeah, Michael J. Fox. Great movie. Um, you know, it is a hard watch just because of the subject matter and, and what happens in the film. Um, you know, it's shocking to say that this was a true story. Um, but yeah, it's a great war movie. Brian De Palma did a great job um, making this film. Um, yeah, great movie. Just... Not an easy one to watch, but I have watched it a couple times because it is a good movie all around. Uh, next up, we've got The Dirt Dozen. Uh, one of my favourites growing up. Um, I got introduced to this quite early on when I was discovering war films, and I absolutely loved this one. Lee Marvin, Ernest Borgnine, Charles Bronson. Uh, yeah, even George Kennedy's in there. Uh, yeah, an absolute brilliant film. If you haven't seen this, you, you have to check this out, especially if you like your uh, your war films. Um, yeah, great movie, great movie. Uh, then we have a long film. Again, this is one of the kind of more epic films. We've got Gettysburg, the director's cut, which I swear is like four hours, four and a half hours. Yeah, 270 minutes. You know what? I've watched this more than I've watched most of the other premium editions. Uh, I just love this film. Um, I bought it. I knew obviously what it was about because obviously the title Gettysburg, but I'd never seen it before. And I remember going home and watching it and I was blown away of how good it was. You know, I thought it was going to be a really slow movie. I thought there was going to be a lot of, you know, talking and things like that. But it was really good. The pacing of this film is fantastic. Um, I can easily sit and watch this. Um, I think I watched it twice last year. I just randomly got in the mood for it. Um, I really hope they release the, was it a prequel? Uh, Gods and Generals? I have it on DVD. I've not watched it yet, but I've got it on DVD. But I'd love um, Premium to put it out to kind of match with Gettysburg. Um, but yeah, great movie. If you want epic battles, this is this is a good one to go for. Um, one of my favourite directors, we have John Sturgis's Ice Station Zebra, another Ernest Borgnine film. Um, oh, I love this film. I remember, um, I remember when I first got Blu-ray, I was dying to get this on Blu-ray. Um, and then I, I knew that America had it, but at that point I didn't know anything about importing films from America. Um, I finally did buy the import. 
Uh, and in typical fashion, as soon as I bought the import, they announced that the uh, premium edition was bringing it out. So I sold it to get this one. But um, yeah, my favorite, my favorite submarine film for sure. Uh, just an epic film. And uh, yeah, so, so many great scenes in this. Rock Hudson's great in this as well. Yeah, definitely check that out if you haven't. Um, and then lastly, for the war films, we have Von Ryan's Express, which again, I blind bought. Um, I, I hadn't seen this before buying it. And this is a great movie. I, I remember loving this when I was watching it. Um, and I'm actually going through a phase where I'm watching a lot of westerns and war films just now uh, from my collection, you know, to kind of give a rewatch for a lot of them. And I really want to watch this again. Uh, and I love that cover art as well, the, the original poster. Yeah, great movie. Love that film. Um, we've got a couple of westerns as well. Uh, only one, actually. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah Johnson. Robert Redford. Great movie. Again, it was a blind buy. I watched this one, was it in January I watched it or December? Um, but yeah, really good. Mountain Men Western. So it's not your typical uh, Western, but great survival film. Um, you know, it might sound daft, but if you like The Revenant, I would kind of recommend watching this. Um, you know, because he's out there in the wilderness surviving and things happen and yeah, it's a really good film. Really, really good. Robert Redford's great. You gotta love him. Uh, then we've got Donnie Brasco, which you might kill me, but I've never seen. Um, and I've had this since, I think, last summer during one of their sales. And I haven't watched it yet. But I really, really want to. Uh, I think because it's long, that's what's putting me off watching it. But yeah, I really, I, I hear Johnny Depp in this is amazing. Uh, as well as Al Pacino. So yeah, I, I really need to watch that one. I keep getting told off not watching it. Uh, then we've got Jason and the Argonauts. Ray Harryhausen classic. Uh, I might be selling this because I did pick up the Ray Harryhausen box set from Indicator. And it's got this in it. Uh, and it's a new 4K restoration. So I believe this is an old transfer. So I may be selling this one off because I don't need two copies. Um, although this comes with, I think, art cards. Thing with art cards is, is I don't really use them. So to keep it for the art cards would be a bit silly. So I may be selling this on my eBay page. But yeah, Jason's great. I, I love this movie. Um, it was the first, yeah, I think it was the first uh, Ray Harryhausen film I'd seen. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a classic. Everyone everyone has seen that already. Um, one of my favourite sci-fi films, we've got The Time Machine, H.G. Wells. Oh, this is so good. Again, you know, I wanted to get the import. Ignore that, that's on the plastic case <laughs> on the sleeve. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get this from America for so many years. And um, I think even the DVDs out of print in the UK... But I found one in a local CX and I picked it up uh, and I used that for years to watch it. Um, and I never bought the American import, but then, uh, of course, Premium decided to put it out. So I picked it up. It's such a great film. Love that film. I know the kind of loose sequel came out from the Premium, um, but I haven't seen it yet, so I haven't got it. Um, then we've got The Adventures of Robin Hood with Earl Flynn. Uh, I'm a huge Robin Hood fan. Anything to do with Robin Hood, you'll get me in. You, you know, I'll I'll be there watching it. Um, I know they've just announced, um, is it Robin and Marion with Sean Connery? I think that's coming out soon. I've never seen that one. Uh, I probably will pick that up at some point to, to give that a watch. But I love the Robin Hood's, you know, character. I love all the stuff they've released for Robin Hood. Uh, my favourite, believe it or not, is not a movie. It's a TV show. Uh, called Robin Hood and it was from BBC and it ran I think from like 2006 or 7 to about 2010 I want to say 2009 2010 fantastic series I mean you wouldn't think it was a BBC show um, it was fantastic um, I absolutely loved it and um, it's still my favorite adaptation of Robin Hood 
Um, but this is right up there. I love this film. And um, there's some great extras on here as well. So yeah, Robin Hood. If, you have, if you've never seen this, I, out of all these, I really recommend this one. It's great. Uh, then we've got A Streetcar Named Desire with the amazing Marlon Brando. Uh, I remember watching this in uh, English class in my final year of school and um, I really enjoyed it. So I picked it up from the premium and uh, yes, it's a great movie. There's so many quotes from this you could say, um, which I won't blow your eardrums out saying, but yeah, great movie, gotta love it. Classic cinema at, at its finest. Uh, in our classic, we've got Bogart, we've got The Treasure of Sierra Madre. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Uh, I need to pick up more of his. I know the Premium Collection's released quite a few of his. Uh, I've got one more coming up. Um, but yeah, this one, this is one of my favourite Bogarts. Um, my favourite is Casablanca. My second favourite would probably be this. Or Maltese Falcon, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, maybe I'd probably say this, but yeah, it's a great movie. I actually haven't watched the Blu-ray yet, um, but I've seen the film, of course. But yeah, great movie. I need to pick up more. I, I'm not going to pick up Casablanca. I already own two editions of it. I own like an Italian box set and then I own the UK Steelbook that came out. So I don't really need to pick up the, the premium one. Don't get me wrong, if I see it for like a fiver or... If the 2 for 15 is back and I need one more title, I might pick it up. But for right now, I'm not picking it up. Speaking of the Maltese, we've got the Maltese Falcon. <laughs> um, yeah, one of my, one of my favourites from him. Great movie. I remember uh, being shown this for the first time and I really, really liked it. And uh, I love that artwork as well. And again, you know, I was tempted to get the American edition for, for years. But um, yeah, great movie. I love Bol uh, Bogart's one of my favorites. You know, in terms of classic cinema, he's definitely up there uh, in my top kind of five actors to watch. And then one last one, we have another John Sturges film, Bad Day at Black Rock, with Robert Ryan and Spencer Tracy. Not seen this yet, and as you can see, it's still sealed. Uh, I picked this up in January. So I've not had a time to watch it yet, but um, I'm really looking forward to this. I hear great things about this film. And uh, John Sturges, I mean, he's got to be one of my favourite directors. He directed The Magnificent Seven, which is my second favourite film of all time. He directed Great Escape with Steve McQueen. That's my third favourite film of all time. Um, and then he goes and does films like Ice Station Zebra, where it's phenomenal. So yeah, he's, he's up there with some of my favourite directors. Um, he also did a film which I really hope the Premium Collection put out. Uh, it's called Never So Few. Uh, it's got Frank Sinatra, Charles Bronson, Steve McQueen, uh, and it's a World War II film. And it's fantastic. Fantastic. Um, so I really hope that they release that at some point. Uh, I know America just got it, I think, last year or the year before from a Warner Archive. But uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching this one. It's meant to be great. So guys, that is my entire premium collection, uh, collection, I suppose. <laughs> um, as I said, I think there's 15 there, um, but you know, I'm not picking up the entire set. I'm only picking up the ones that I, I quite fancy. Um, there isn't too many that that's missing that I kind of want to pick up. Um, you know, a couple of the Bogart ones I want to get. Um, I think there's a Western called McCabe and Mrs. Miller I want to pick up. Um, but other than that, there's not much out right now that I'm missing that I actually do kind of want to pick up. But um, yeah, you know, I, I love the collection that they're bringing out because they're all these classic films that um, that a lot of them I've never seen, but a lot of them I have seen as well. So it's a real mixture. Um, so yeah. So guys, let me know down in the comments below uh, if you've got any of these premium collections that they've brought out. Uh, you know, you could tell me a few that you've got or some of your favourites. Leave a like rating on this video if you want to see more content by myself. Uh, it really shows your support. Hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, my analytics show that a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So it would really mean the world if you could subscribe to me. And um, again, show your support for the video. 
Hit me up on all my socials, which are down in the description. We've got my Instagram and my Letterboxd account. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, take it easy. Stay awesome. Peace.